Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn about single digit subtraction. Now first as I have said that uh, make your child aware about numbers once they are 2 to plus age. Start making them count objects which are available at home that is their crayons, pencils, toys and even their fingers. Go slowly and gradually from 1 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 20. Once they are thorough with their numbers then you can start off with addition and subtraction. I have already made a video on addition the link of which I will be providing in the description box. So now let's move forward to subtraction. Again, subtraction first uh, make them learn with the objects. They have put uh, three, five pencils together and lift two pencils out of that and let them, let them count how many pencils are left. Do the same thing with the toys, crayons, etc. with different number combinations. So this way they'll be, they'll start to understand that what subtraction actually is. What do you mean by the word subtraction? Then start off with the number line method. How will you do the number line method? Now my uh, first draw the number line from 0 to 10. My sum over here is 6 minus 2. How will you do it? Do this on the number line. Start from 0. Go up till 6. Stop. Now minus 2. My other number is 2. So start from 6. Because you have stopped at 6. 1 and 2. Where did my line stop? On number 4. So num 4 is my answer over here. Similarly you can do 5 minus 3. And make your child practice with, uh, with this daily. So they will be good with the concept. This is again a practice method. This is for assignment purpose. So let them count the mangoes first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My answer over here is 5 mangoes. Now minus count 1 and 2. How will you get the answer over here now? Now 2 is to be subtracted from 5. So let's strike off these two mangoes from here and two from here. How many are remaining with me? One, two and three. So my answer over here is three. Similarly, you can do this with another example and you can give them examples on and on for practice purpose. Now let's go towards the main method of subtraction. How to actually do subtraction which is useful in the long run? My sum over here is 7 minus 4. So basically 4 is to be subtracted from number 7. How will you proceed? Keep number 4 in your mind. Number 4 is in my mind. Now count after 4 till 7. How will you count? 5, 6 and 7. What am I getting over here? 3. So 3 is my answer. Same way over here. 3 is to be subtracted from number 6. So keep 3 in your mind. Count after 3 up till 6. So 4, 5 and 6. Again, 3 is my answer over here. Now 1 minus 0. 0 is to be subtracted from number 1. So keep 0 in the mind. What will come after 0? 1. So my answer over here is 1. Now basically any number to be subtracted from 0, the answer is always the number. Unless the equation is 0 minus 0, then the answer remains 0 itself. Now moving towards the next example. 3 minus 3. How will you do it? Keep 3 in your mind. From 3, count up till 3. After 3, count up till 3. So 3, after 3, up till 3 is 0. Nothing remains with me. So the answer over here is 0. So whenever you subtract same number, one number from the same number, 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2, so answer remains 0. And whenever you subtract 0 from some number other than 0, then the answer is always the number. So this was it about subtraction today. So if you like the video and if you found it helpful, please share it with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.